Howard Stern Show. I consider you brave in the sense that most people would have kept quiet about Johnny Depp and the friendship and what you might have heard or around his house and stuff. But, but without asking about the case, you've spent a lot of time with Johnny. When did you meet him? Uh, 2013, I think it was. Is he the type of celebrity friend that um, you have to you have to be careful? Because you don't want to blow your uh, association with Johnny Depp. You enjoy knowing him, so you got to be careful. It's not like having a regular friend when you have a famous friend, right? Regular friends, you can kind of let your hair down. With Johnny Depp, you got to be on good I, behavior. I, I, I've never had... Rogan is my only famous friend. Joe Rogan. And, and we are kind of... Yeah. famous together right and you guys came up in the clubs together. it's still kind of awkward even yeah. that kind of fame much less johnny depp fame right i don't get how that world works and johnny's been good to you and your girlfriend bingo they yeah. you always invite they invite you in and they and he's always uh solicitous and he's friendly and it is a close friendship but then again i don't know how much you can talk about but amber heard has said she's never heard of you she doesn't know who well, you are first of all I blame you for this because no. last time I was on, I uh, uh, misspoke and I called her Amanda Heard instead of Amber. <laughs> yeah. And you, king of all media, should have had some five second <laughs> delay right. th that corrected. I think the whole lawsuit is just about you me calling her Amanda on your show. <laughs> You're kidding. That's the proof? <laughs> Pretty How, sure. Uh, uh, but you have a lawyer now. You're lawyered up. And uh, you must Legal be like... Zoom? Yeah, no, but you must be like really uh, bummed out about this. There's Nobody no, likes uh, to be sued. The fucking suit is such... You know anything that I say, they can twist my words. I well, cannot... It's a, it, it's a weird lawsuit. But it's such a bullshit suit. I, but I guess it's a weird lawsuit. From her point of view, she's saying, hey, you weren't with us when he did this kind of stuff to me. You know what I mean? Although you were expressing an opinion saying whenever I was there, I didn't see anything. Well, I put it on my website. Right. And uh, I, the title was uh, at a loss for words, whatever it was. Right. The rap got it as an exclusive, however that worked, and said, uh, Amber Heard is blackmailing Johnny Depp. This is how I know. Right. I didn't write that fucking title. You didn't you put the headline in there. Yeah, I didn't put that stupid tabloid <laughs> right. title in there. Yep. I'm a better writer than that. So I don't know if it's hinged on that. I don't know how much of it is spite. And Johnny didn't say to you, hey, Doug, would you write something uh, about this, right? He didn't... Uh... Johnny... I had no contact with him until he texted me after that went out and said, hey, thanks for being honest. Thank you for sticking and, up for me. Yeah. I, he didn't know that was going out, and I was a little petrified, like... Because it, it kind of made him look like a bitch. Right. Because he was kind of a bitch. How soon after that you write this do you start hearing from her lawyers saying, hey, we're going to sue your ass? Oh, uh, fuck. I, I should not. You're not allowed I, to say that? You can't well, even I, I say when they contacted you? Oh, what? D d d Oh, fuck. I wish Please I had my lawyer stop. here. She, I can bring legal she Zoom in. She came out with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get legal Zoom on well, the line. Well, if you can't talk about something, tell me. But I, I, I should probably not talk about, about it. how soon you were contacted? Oh, well, she didn't uh, come out with the accusations for a week. She I filed see. for divorce two days after the mother died, right. and all of a sudden she's getting trashed on Twitter. Right. Like everyone's, how dare she do this? She's his mother just died, right? And then all of a sudden, then it was. It, it, Oh, Man, shut it's the very... fuck up and drink some Bushmills stand up. Shut it's up. true because they will shut play. It. They will play this at the trial or whatever. I don't know if it'll go to a trial, but it's... who knows? It's complicated. It's it has nothing to do with me. But it's Johnny spite. was happy with your article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, All right. That's the only word I got. Was thank you for being. I got to tell you, I wouldn't write any article. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm just like. Ah, fuck it. I'm not going to write anything. I'm not getting involved. So you got involved. I mean, and I and I and I applaud that. But it that. still feels like name dropping. You know? Yeah, I know. That's the problem you have with this. Not even being sued. You just don't want people to think you're name dropping Johnny Depp. And, yeah. and oh, all you're that. doing it for publicity. I had like but. forty fucking Good Morning America access. If you if you want to listen to my here, play my voicemail if you want. Wow. I mean, I saved all the voicemails. <laughs> Hi, it's Entertainment Tonight again. This is fucking your best no. new best friends. Yeah, uh, but but um, if, uh, if it weren't so personal, 
like for him, right. I would have had so much fun with this right. to make Good Morning America fly me out <laughs> and then act like it's all about my book. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Um, do you now? This is kind of odd, but do you have anything of value that you can be sued for? I mean, you are notoriously oh, that's, broke. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the funniest idea, and I'm I'm saving it in a notebook for when this lawsuit is done. Right, because I need new material. That's but it. Just the idea of some. Hollywood supermodel lady <laughs> winning all of my shit. Your assets. She would be <laughs> locking the doors, driving down my street, even without seeing a person. Yeah, don't just you going live in like a potholes? Don't you and, live in like a log cabin and shit? I mean, you know, I, I, yeah, I live yeah. on the Mexican border in this <laughs> dirty take your house. pothole ridden, riddled neighborhood. So there's nothing for just, her to take then. Well, she's going to donate it to. Uh, oh, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, th- yeah. some woman's. Pro- now, I don't know anything I, I, about I, I, this. I'll donate it to the Innocence Project. That's my charity, and uh, it is it's a touchy fitting. Su- but, Doug, it's such a touchy subject. You know, when, when a woman says abuse, I take that seriously. I you do, know. too. Yeah, and it's uh, weird. But, but and, and again, I don't know if you can... Uh, tell me, Stop me if I can't talk I'll about this part. I'll tell you off the air. Oh, yeah, off the air. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait to get you off the air. <laughs> but uh, you, you, in the article, said you visited Johnny the same day... It was that day. ...that the dispute happened where she was allegedly beaten. And, and you said you saw nothing. He was, he was uh, alluding to the fact that she was going to do something like this. So for the... Like, and 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 it, she didn't come out till a week later, right? That that happened, so but that that but it happened that night, and he was alluding to she's going to do something like this. So if you're coming forward with the fact that he said to you she's going to do something like this, what is there really to I sue over? Was, I mean, what is she saying? I think what she's trying to do is make me shut the fuck up. I see. <laughs> And you and it worked. I can't say anything about it. She because shut it you up. It shut you the fuck <laughs> up. Yeah, so now I'm talking more. All Thanks, right. Bush Mills. The Howard Stern Show.